has been a year and a half since a Bakersfield man died after being beaten by Kern County Sheriff's deputies. Today, the results of a third and likely final investigation into the death were announced. And 23 ABC's Chris Ornelas is live where that incident happened. Chris? Well, it was in May of 2013 that David Silva died on this street corner, and a memorial still marks the spot. In fact, just within the last few minutes, family members have been here to add new items to the memorial. But after a year and a half and three investigations, there are still questions that linger for the family. Seeing your son on television basically take his last breaths of life, uh, I don't think you, anyone would want to imagine something like that. It's the video seen around the world. A security camera shows Kern County deputies repeatedly hitting David Silva with batons. Attorneys tried to make the public believe that we beat Mr. Silva to death. The sheriff's investigation into the death cleared the deputies of any wrongdoing. An investigation by the district attorney's office drew the same conclusion. And now the FBI and the Department of Justice say they agree. We had three independent investigations from each other, and, uh, and we, they all found the same thing. But Silva's family questions whether the federal investigation was truly independent. The only investigation that the FBI did was based on all the facts and all the documents that the sheriff's department had given them. They actually had not interviewed one of the officers, not one of the witnesses. David's dad, Sal Silva, says he knows, based on depositions taken in the civil case, that the feds never interviewed any of the deputies involved. How can you actually say that there's an independent investigation without talking to someone? The Department of Justice told 23 ABC they can't comment on their investigation. Sheriff Youngblood said he didn't know who the feds did or didn't talk to. The reason I invited the FBI in was not to uh, prove me right. It was to let the public have a more transparent view of what occurred out there. Now, that wrongful death case is still working its way through the courts. The civil family says they hope some sort of evidence comes out during the civil trial that will hold the deputies responsible. Jackie.